Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to The 423. Today I want to talk about something a little bit different, and if you haven't heard about this yet, your mind is about to be blown. This is wild. So, there's an influx of girls on Instagram who are white and are essentially doing blackface by manipulating their skin color and their features in order to look black. This is really crazy, and I had no idea this was a thing until I came across one of these girls I'm about to mention being exposed on Twitter. And when I looked into it, it turns out there's a whole lot of Instagram models and influencers who are doing exactly this kind of thing. I'll start off with Emma Halberg because she is the reason that this all came about, to my knowledge. She's a 19-year-old model from Sweden, and she has 173,000 followers on Instagram. She also has her own highlighter collaboration with Makeup Store Cosmetics, so she's doing pretty well for herself. And at first glance, she looks like a light-skinned black girl. She has different hair in pretty much every photo, but in a lot of them, she wears very voluminous, curly, dark black hair. She has super full lips and a very curvy body, which, judging by her before pictures, which I'll show in a second, these are both due to fillers. And the most glaring difference as you scroll through her profile is that her skin gets increasingly darker. Here's a side-by-side -side of a photo of Emma, which I believe to be from high school, and a photo that she posted on Instagram less than a week ago. I mean, what the fuck is going on here? This is insane! I've been staring at this girl's pictures for days and I am still in shock. Baby girl, what is you doing? To make things even more ridiculous, this girl actually posted a makeup tutorial on YouTube last week and there's a huge difference between the actual color of her skin versus the foundation that she's using. She even points to her neck in the foundation like, hey look, I know my face is in this color but I swear it matches. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but, like, the fact that she's putting on this charade and would even think to post a video online where her face is warm ivory and then she slathers on some foundation and chestnut is mind boggling. Someone actually messaged this girl asking her about being white and posing as a person of color and here's her response. She does confirm that she's white and says she never claimed to be anything else. She continues saying that she gets tanned very naturally and the only difference in her before and after pictures is different seasons in the year. Emma also says her hair is naturally curly and in a separate post on IG she claims her hair texture is from sleeping in braids. I just, I can't stand this girl. Like I said, this situation is probably gaining the most traction across social media, but unfortunately there is no shortage of these white girls doing this. Let's look at a few more. This next girl is Micah Francis, and I believe she's British. Her before and after pictures might be even more alarming than the previous one. This girl doesn't darken her skin as much as Emma Halberg, but her violations are still present. She wears a million different wigs, puts her hair in braids, and has worn dreads before. She dresses in streetwear daily, and I mean, her lips are like twice the size of Khloe Kardashian's while she was pregnant. Micah has been doing this for a while, so you have to scroll back pretty far on her Instagram to see how she looked before this whole thing started, but man, is there a huge difference. I see a lot of people in her comments saying that she's been living in Bali and her tan is natural, and sure, let's just give her the benefit of the doubt and say that's true, but her tan isn't even the strongest case to show how many ways in which she's emulating black culture. This side-by-side -side is just crazy. I mean, in 2014, she had porcelain white skin, straight to mildly wavy hair, and she just looks like a completely different person. You guys, this next one I legitimately cannot even believe is the same human being. I'm flabbergasted. I am befuddled. I just don't even know what to say. This young lady's name is Chantel, and she actually posted her own before and after at the beginning of the year, showing her body transformation, which is wild. 
She claims that her hips and breasts are a product of puberty and working out, and the before picture is from when she was 14. I will say it is possible that she did just go through puberty, but as a girl who experienced this exactly growing up and forming a more thicker body type, I mean, I was already pretty developed at 14. Of course, everyone is different, and it's possible that she went from super tiny and skinny to having a more voluptuous figure, but I'm a little skeptical. Beside the obvious body difference, though, there's a clear shift in how she looked at 14 and how she looks now. People can change their style and all of that throughout the years. Of course, I'm not saying everyone needs to say the same their whole life, but it's obvious by this girl's tan skin, her hair going from being extremely coarse and straight to being jet black and wearing it in braids. I mean, it just doesn't take a rocket scientist to see what she's trying to do here. This whole thing just goes on and on. This girl's name is Rendal. She's from London, and from what I see online right now, she's only about 17 years old. This first picture is from 2015, and she has very light, wavy hair. She does have full lips, but they look relatively natural, and her skin is tan, but once again, pretty natural looking. The difference three years can make is shocking. Her skin is five shades darker, which she attributes to being olive skinned, but also says she does use sunbeds. She very clearly has lip fillers, and she just looks once again like a completely different person. If I went through every girl who's doing this on Instagram right now, this video would be five hours long, but here are a few more pictures just so you can get a visual of how common this is. So what do you guys think about this? Are you surprised so many Instagram models and white women around the world are tweaking their looks to try to look black? Or are you just completely not shocked? It's no secret that hip hop and other elements of black culture have become pretty synonymous with pop culture. And a lot more people are dressing in streetwear. More women are getting lip injections and trying to achieve wider hips and bigger butts. But I think there's obviously a line between wanting to look a certain way and wanting to, or rather, making yourself look like a completely different race. This shit is crazy, and they're definitely giving Rachel Dolezal a run for her money. But of course, I want to know what you guys think. Was this something that you were already aware of? Do you think people are just overreacting, or do you think there's valid outrage against this? Let me know down below in the comments, subscribe to The 423 for more videos, and if you enjoyed this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.